This is a very cool mine. Not an easy mine to get to, as you can see how steep it is. But if you see what's here, it holds a great promise. That's the remains of some type of cart in front of me, perhaps an ore cart. You can see the uh, axles on it. And I've got some interesting barrels, things like that here. More interestingly, we've got a rail system coming down from uh, higher up the mountain suggesting some sort of tramway or something up there mine itself is going to require more hiking so we've arrived at the mine and it's a great site we've got a cabin here rail here an attic back there stuff going up the mountain ventilation tubing in front of me the rail goes past me and the section I'm standing on goes and drops off the edge there and there's another section that carries on around the mountain. I wanted to show you views of the mine from different perspectives. So here you are. Of course here is the miner's cabin. Let's go take a look inside. You see I've got all kinds of stuff out here. Washing, old washing machine right there. There's just a ton of stuff here, it's hard to take it all in. Unfortunately, the door's off. Just the remains of the door right there. Oh, kind of a mess in here. Got a bunch of old engine parts and things like that. Got an old boot right here. More bits and pieces of things. Shoes, parts of engines. There's a big engine right there. And there's shelving or bunk space up there. Pipes. And you know what's cool? The back wall of the cabin is the cliff. There's no wall there. It's just up against the cliff. How cool is that? Looks like there are some uh, ore samples here in front of me. Barrels back there. Okay, so here's where those pipes that we saw going out the side of the cabin from the inside, they come out to this tank here. There's all kinds of stuff here. It's really hard to take it all in. There's a tank back there. So Chuck was kind enough to lift up this uh, hatch for us and to expose the machinery on this side. And what were you saying about this? Uh, That's an old generator, old really old generator. I mean, ancient. 
single cylinder. Those are the those are the valves on top, the lifters and the rods. Huh. There's so much stuff here. It's just incredible. Well, I mean, not only this, look at that mo that that electric motor that's that is all on top of. Yeah. That thing's like I mean that's big, dude. All right, there's the cabin there, and got the attic here behind me. Let's go up and take a look at this contraption here. All right. Well, this in front of me is obviously a blower. Says Buffalo Forge Company. It's a big rock on there. This, however, I am really not so sure about. It looks kind of like a wind turbine, but it got me. It doesn't turn. I say it looks like the wind comes in here and turns it, but it doesn't turn. But it could just be rusted because it looks like there's a uh, some kind of axle or something there that all this might turn on. And you've got this round piece of metal here that all looks like it spins on this, and uh, you know again. They love the washing machines. Washing machine down here on the bottom, but it's had this uh, outlet stuck onto it. So I am just, I have no idea what this is for. Well, here's another view of that. And you can see it's got a shape on this side as well. It looks like it's for capturing wind and turning it. I just have no other explanation for what it could be. But I don't see where the electricity would be generated. I think it's wind powered. I, I... You think it's a wind powered washing machine? Well, see how that thing is up, up on the top there? No, I, to me, there's no question that it's, it's pushed by the wind, but. Is it a washing machine or is it a, is it a billows? I don't know, man. I just can't. What's that, what's that, that chute coming out the side? That's a blower. It's for air to come out, I think. Then it's, a blow, then it's, in, then it's for ventilation, probably. Wind powered ventilation. Oh. I mean, be my guess. There's a blower up. There's a. I saw the other blower. Yeah. yeah, there's a blower there. So you think it's like a budget ventilator for the mine? Maybe. I, I do not know. I, the, only thing, the only thing I was thinking is, is it's a forge or, or a billows for a forge. You got me, man. I thought it was a economo washing machine for clothes. <sighs> you got me, man. Seriously. You know, I always get the best light. When I'm in the least advantageous spot for filming. <laughs> and there's a bed frame there. Looks like it started poking around there. A little prospect. This is a look back. You can see how the rail used to go through there. You can see a little bit of a trestle here. Still solid and secure. And the rail just keeps going. Gives us a good view of the valley. Okay, there's some kind of landing up here. Looks like there's a chute here. And, oh wow, there's an amazing looking winch right there. The winch. And then let's see, okay, the track comes and drops off here. However, that track that we saw down from below, there it is. And it comes up here, right up to that winch. 
And there's a view up the hill. I don't see anything man-made up there. The track running down. The other side of the track coming and terminating there. I'm not exactly sure how they would transfer the ore from there to here because I don't see uh, equipment or machinery here for that, but whatever was here is probably long gone. And uh, this is really neat because the engine's still fairly intact, the cable's still on here. You can still move the handle even. How about this engine? The light is just terrible today, which is killing me because there's so much cool stuff here. I really hope this is coming across better on your screen at home than it looks on the back of the camera right now. See the gauges and stuff. You know, with a hood like that, it actually looks like an old car or truck engine here, which wouldn't surprise me in the least. So they hooked up to the winch. Oh man, they, I just noticed the front section here. You see, they've got the the hand crank here to get the engine started. They uh, still have the uh, the belt, the rubber belt. The fan wouldn't work so well, but uh, yeah, this engine is remarkably intact. <laughs> he gives no shits. No, you're not shy at all, are you? He's like, would you like what you see again? Look at that, I'm working out. I've been working out lately. If he jumps in you, I'm gonna laugh so goddamn hard. That's so crazy. They're just not afraid I've at never all. seen a lizard just like hang out. Yeah, me neither. They're not afraid at all. We will be going straight into this adit next week.